What is going on, YouTube? 907 Piper. Let's see, I'm smoking one of my estate pipes. It is a Briar. Briar. Prior Deluxe. I actually just got all the wax off. There were some spots on it. And the wax, I don't know, it almost made it look like this yellow, like a saddle brown. But it looks a lot more subtle with the wax off. But I'm gonna, I have some wax I'm going to try to get back on. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, this is Algerian Briar. And smoking some Peter Stokeby English Luxury. This was gifted to me. Well, we did a trade. Motor Steve. Dude Rustica. I think he does most of his. I think he's mainly on Instagram. So if you're on Instagram and you haven't followed him, check him out. He has amazing mail calls all the time. <laughs> really cool pipes and um, I'm sure that he's bought all the H.A. Trustica cans in production <laughs> but I really really like this blend and got some up uh, Founders Breakfast Stout. That is a tasty stout. So, we've been having passing rains. It's pretty cloudy, overcast, nice and cool. I would say we're probably in the mid 70s right now. Which feels, which feels cold, for, <laughs> for being this part of the island. But I've been um, wanting to have some, some of the English luxury. Tons of smoke. Nice chewy, creamy, chewy smoke, and dong. Uh, what I like about this one. Is uh, I think this one is Virginia Berlin Latakia. I might be remembering that wrong, but the other English blends with the Orientals. Um, not my favorite. A lot of the Orientals that I've experienced within those blends are sour, tangy. And they linger, which is something that's not um, not my favorite, I guess, flavor to linger. <laughs> or it feels dry, like a lot of tannins. Like if you drink a lot of tea, you have that kind of tangy dryness. That's what I get with Orientals mostly, except for today. I did a review and I did an opening of Planta's Empire series uh perique a it's a perique flake but it's a virginia perique with orientals in it and that was delicious one of it might be my f most favorite blend off of a first impression and i'm gonna have to smoke more of it to figure out exactly what's going on with the blend and how what i like about it but anyway the reason why I like the English luxury is because it's the Virginia Berlin like here. I can't remember the flavor, I think it's vanilla. But anyway, this is a VR2 Tamper Tantrums, 400 subs. Congratulations, man. Quite the accomplishment. 400, that's a big number of people. Can you imagine you're sitting there, if you're sitting in a room somewhere, 
and you count out 400 people. That's a lot of people. Excuse my whistling. But the prompt was I think fitting for this month, a season for Americans, Thanksgiving. I think um, our Canadian family members, you guys have an October, right? October. Pretty sure it's October. Sorry, I don't remember. One of my old buddies from school is Canadian, and he always would be excited. He'd give us crap because we had the wrong Thanksgiving date. But. The prompt is something that we're thankful for. I think a lot of us goes without saying. Extremely thankful for our uh, family and friends and differing orders of people, you know. Some people may have dysfunctional families, but for the most part, I would say that it goes without saying all those are thankful for those people <clears throat> in our lives, friends, family, otherwise. So I was trying to think of other things that were kind of um, maybe something I haven't touched on before, because a lot of time people ask, you know. When this comes up in school or whatever, you always talk about family or, you know, all that. But I think I got to say that I am thankful for storytelling for a few reasons. The first reason, um, I can hear Miss Carrie sneezing in the other house over there. <laughs> the first reason being that whatever kind of story that you like or genre that you like, it just makes your life better, right? Um, another reason, my culture, we didn't have a written language, and like many other cultures, it was uh, culture and tradition was passed down through stories, oral histories. So without storytelling, You don't have a community. So it's important. Elders play that important role. And I think in a lot of cultures within the culture of Western societies, um, we've forgotten that. I think a lot, especially in the U.S., right? You kind of think of the trajectory <clears throat> of getting old, for a lot of people, that might mean getting married and or having kids, working, retiring, uh, going to an old people's home. <laughs> and you just, you don't have a purpose. You just stay there and people watch after you and you just kind of stay there and bide your time. <clears throat> but in other cultures, like one of my ancestors in Alaska, it was no, they're very integrated in the culture. And when you come to that stage in your life, uh, it's through storytelling. Because stories are educational, they're fun. It doesn't have to be just about passing on traditions. You, you get a lot of cool stories, you get a lot of fun stories, scary stories. So I'm very grateful for, grateful for uh, storytelling. And <clears throat> part of that, I really love books. I enjoy books. I love, um, I love how they feel. I love how they smell sometimes. Um, and you can have so many different stories within within a genre, within within your set of books that you might have, but they don't have to be books. Um, even books on tape, podcasts. 
you know, and all forms of storytelling is extremely important. So that's something that I am very thankful for. So I'll leave it there, you guys. One thing I did notice about this blend is it burns pretty quick. So I might be loading, I might be loading up another bowl already. But I'll leave my VR there. And um, good luck. Some awesome, awesome opportunity, man. I'm digging the, the tamper that you put up. The video showing. So I hope I win. There's a bunch of gods going around right now. So. Cool prizes, cool stories, cool milestones. So, anyway, YTPC, you guys take care, and I'm gonna jump off. I'll catch you later.